I'm pretty sure that Kyle is completely 100% overconfident that he could take three months of physical activity going to the gym two or three times a week and make up for 21 years of doing nothing. I need to make sure this goes well from, in my favor or else like all that hard work that I put in, all that effort is gonna be like wasted, you know? I'm gonna look like a fool. The amount of growing he's done as a boxer is like kind of crazy. He really took it 100%. We're thinking strength versus talent. It's my husband and it's my son and they're both going to get hurt and they're both gonna walk away with concussions and broken noses and this is not gonna be good for me. That's right. <laughs> I don't like it. How did this whole idea come about? What started it? Can you pass me that pillow? <laughs> all I wanted to do was, I just wanted to do a video where I trained and I learned how to box. I think at Christmas I said, Kyle, if you want to do a really cool video and you want to box somebody, you should probably box your dad. If you want to, you really want to box me? Well, I'm going to train you first. Box me. I'm going to train, then I'm going to box you. You're 20. I'm 55. How is that fair? Exactly. You got a gut. Dude. Kyle's never worked out a day in his life, ever. My dad's consistently worked out for 25 plus years. Do so I get two hands? Oh, I don't know. I think you should have one hand tied behind your back. If it was me or Kyle against each other in a fight, it'd be a very even draw. Oh. How was that? No, you're okay. <laughs> 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 Every sport I've tried, I've failed miserably at. I think I think if I train, then I'll be able to beat you. Okay. <laughs> there's zero athletic ability in this kid. I've known him my entire life. And <laughs> there's he tries hard. <laughs> it rep hurts. Are you gonna use your right hand or your left hand? You wanna use my left and my right. Which one's <laughs> Late 30s, mid 30s, I took up Taekwondo and got my black belt. You know, trained every morning at six in the morning for five years. Then I got an Ironman racing uh, in my 40s, and I did about seven halves and three fulls. I think I could take that. Okay. I'm thinking my husband's gonna hurt my son, <laughs> and it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> I think I was pretty confident because in my mind, I was like, I'm going to train and I'm going to take this super seriously. And I know that he's not going to take this seriously and he's not going to be expecting me to take this seriously. So I actually started training by myself. I did some push-ups and sit-ups and planks and stuff and my PJs because I didn't feel like changing. I was going to go to the gym, but I was like, I'm not going to go to the gym because I don't feel like getting out my PJs. So I just, um... He's kind of a weakling to an extent, right? Kyle didn't really have that, uh, that, ugh, right? A little bit of ugh, when it came to like fighting or physical activity. It just is, it's kind of out of his, out of his like, comfort zone I feel like usually he's not you know he's not like gonna just jump into boxing you know and I did this like run by myself where I was like like I went to like a track random track at a high school and I try to sprint around it as fast as I can like multiple times and it was it was bad like <laughs> Charlie was overrated you really love you well, I know I, I didn't push myself as hard as I could have because uh, I threw up after the first 800 meters. <laughs> <laughs> you threw up? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I very quickly realized that I needed professional help. I needed to seek help. I've got kind of a, a strange request. In April, I'm gonna be boxing my dad, and I've never had any prior training, so I was wondering if I could uh, kind of have a personal boxing trainer at your guys' club. Oh, yeah. Um, you said you're boxing your dad? Yeah, I'm boxing my dad. Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling nervous. Like, I have no idea what to expect. And, like, this is unlike anything I've ever done before. So, it is 
it's exciting, but it's also like super like nerve wracking. Oh, dude, the first day of training, my expectation was like, this is going to be very difficult. This is not going to be easy. Uh, I have a, a coach. I've never trained with a coach before, and I know that he's gonna he's gonna push me. He's not gonna let me like lollygag and fuck around. Like he's like we're here to work, you know. Dude, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect except for this is going to be difficult, you know. Are you ready? I guess so, as soon as I could be. <laughs> My coach is uh, Danny Perez. He's, he's done like like 50, 55 professional fights and he's only lost like six of them or something like that. So I was lucky enough to get him to be on my side for this fight. Again. There's so many times the first when I saw Kyle train during that first day where I was trying to hold in my laughter. Kyle just didn't feel super loosey goosey, kind of came at it super rigid and trying to be more focused on like what the moves are. Right hand, left hook, right hand. This is gonna be very interesting. Either he's gonna commit to it or he's gonna just back out. Like, probably no in between. It felt like Kyle for emotional wise, didn't know how to convey what he was doing. I felt like he was almost out of touch and out of place, right? You're in this like foreign place that you've never done, especially when it comes to training and stuff. Candidly, he's, he's awesome at so many things in life, like music and, and video and art and him and his, his track record comes with physical fitness and physical activities is about a zero. So I assumed that he would just not do this and he'd give up on it and we would uh, not talk about it again. When you have a coach, it's, it's different than just like working out by yourself. You don't really push yourself as much as you would when you have someone there who's going, okay, do this, do this, do this. By the end of that first session, I was like, you almost see that spark in his eyes to, be like, you know what, I'm gonna take this serious and kind of move forward with it. But I didn't think or know how far it was gonna come. I'm coming for you, Dad. <laughs> I'm excited, dude. You're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> what was Jay's training like from your perspective? <laughs> what was Jay's training like? Well, I'd hear him upstairs. <laughs> I started taking it seriously in the beginning, and I was jumping rope. It was really funny, because all of a sudden I would hear this thump, 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 and I'm like, oh, he's jumping rope. So he decided to jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I suck. And then I'd hear the boom, 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 oh, he's punching the bag. I was confident I could fight him with one hand tied behind my back. In fact, I practiced punching and blocking for a little bit with one arm tied behind my back. I think your right side is going to be hurting. That lasted for about a couple weeks. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> he tried. I figured my dad would probably not take the training that serious whatsoever. Come on. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh. Oh, he's down. Oh, VR Box is great. I think it's called Creed on, on uh, the Oculus. And you're literally standing face to face with like, Rocky, and he's throwing punches at you. And then you're throwing punches back, and you're blocking punches. And it's just, it's great cardio workout. <laughs> and you're down. That's a victory. My theory was that the VR would throw about as hard a punch as Kyle would. Hey, Kyle. I'm coming after you. Diet. It's a really important one. I have a lot of Coke, Coca-Cola, and chocolate, dove chocolate. If I lose the fight, I lose the fight. I'm not planning on losing the fight. Um, 
and I'm not worried about my training because I've spent 25 years being somewhat athletic. I'm sure I can go a few rounds in a boxing ring um, with a 110 pound kid. I'm not too worried about it. So I, I, I very quickly fell in love with the sport. Three, five, oh, one, two, five, go! <laughs> Oh, dude, Kyle was taking it seriously. Kyle was taking it seriously, yeah. I'd say it progressed, too, like, the serious level. I was so glad that he decided to take this seriously and not half-ass this and find a good trainer and find someone who's actually going to teach him what he really needs to know. Training with Coach is so much fun. He makes it, like, just super easy to grasp and like he pushes you, he pushes you hard. Look at that body shot, combo, nice. Like it was very quick of me like, it, the night before boxing training, I'm laying there awake, cannot sleep because I'm so excited to wake up and go to boxing training. Like it's, I, I, I love the shit out of it, dude. I figured Kyle would take the training pretty seriously because he's scared shitless. Uh, so hopefully all this training is gonna pay off. When I found out Kyle was going to do personal boxing training, I thought it was a great idea because he needs it. That's my answer. He needs it. Oh, I'm, I'm sure Kyle getting a personal trainer is going to help him a lot for the fight, especially since he's been going pretty seriously at it. Um, I'm not sure how he's going to make up the 110 pound weight class he's in, but I'm sure he's gonna be able to he'll be able to throw a punch better. Every Tuesday and Saturday I would go to boxing training. I'd probably go probably three times a week to the gym to lift weights. I was running pretty much every day or as often as I could. And it was very it was very surprising because it's like, why why boxing? Like out of all the sports that I tried, why is this sport where I'm hitting people and getting hit by someone else? Why is that the sport that I fall in love with? Because I'm not a violent guy, you know. It's like I'm not gonna hurt a butterfly, you know. Yeah. But if the butterfly is trying to hurt me, you're like, now nah, I can punch you. I'm gonna knock it out. <laughs> so here we are, and it's February 20th. And you just texted me that we're gonna fight on April 15th. And I can barely walk. My back is completely tweaked. I slept like an hour last night. I hope I can actually be ready to fight you on April 15th because right now I can barely walk. So I'm not training this week. Um, so there you go. But with all that said, I'm still gonna kick your ass. Love your son. When he got hurt, what is it, about a month ago? I'm thinking there's no way in hell he should be boxing and I'm, I should maybe call this off, but I couldn't do this to Kyle and I had this moment of, crap like this has been a lot of work for both of them and i don't think this is a good idea i'm like literally on the couch in pain try to get up and go get a coffee i can't even make it to get a coffee i'd turn and go back and lie down again the scariest moment was when i left for the couple hours and had my phone off and i looked at my phone and turned it on and saw two missed calls three texts from dad saying where are you where are you i need you and i call him and he's in pain saying I have to get to the doctor and I can't drive and I can't move and I need you to come home and help me. And then I got the MRI and it showed exactly how blown up that disc is. And that's when I started going, I went to the neurosurgeon and that's when he told me not to box. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna listen. I, I don't listen very well. I feel like it was kind of hard for me to contextualize like how, how much pain he actually was in. Um, Cause it's, I mean, it seems like from what he's telling me, it seems like he was in a lot of pain, but I think, uh, um, it's kind of hard to conceptualize that when you're just like on the phone with him and like he's sending me these goofy videos of him fucking walking like with a cane yeah. it's like okay like how bad actually is it <laughs> hey Kyle you want to box me on the 15th of April can I just see the doctor to give me a shot because I can't walk <laughs> I'm not going to say I threw my back and I lost this fight. I'm going to win this fight. I'm watching him now and he has no issues now. Things that were t triggering, or triggering it before is not triggering it now. So yeah, I think he's fine.
I don't know. My dad, that's a tough guy. My dad's a tough guy. So even with his uh, back issues, I think he'll he'll make it through. I and mean, if he needs to go to a doctor, he'll go to the doctor. But after the fight, I should probably start physical therapy. I probably should have started that before the fight, but I didn't do that. By the way, uh, the club, the boxing club, did not know that he has back issues. By the way, they're they're finding out about this in this video, so uh, don't hold them liable for that. <laughs> Sorry, boxing club. <laughs> I started sparring uh, Coach Danny probably about six weeks in, five, six weeks into training. When I first saw Kyle box, I didn't know he was gonna be that like good at it at that at that stage. I was like, holy shit, this guy, this guy can throw some punches, you know? He got some head movements, he got it. It was cool sparring my coach because I was able to see, like take all the knowledge that I've learned and put it into like a practical situation. Um, but I still had a lot, a lot of work to do. Poor dad. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. When I started seeing footage of Kyle boxing, I was impressed. I was thinking, ha, Kyle might be onto something here, and Jay might be in trouble. But they don't know what I really intend. Two, 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 two. One for one, I can catch it. Got me something. You don't know how tiring boxing actually is until you get into the ring with someone who's, who's throwing at you and so you're trying to block and you want to throw at them too and you're moving around like it's a completely different experience. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Go back, there you go, come on. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Sometimes I give Kyle a hard time um, with his coordination, but honestly, I've seen him improving like in every way possible. Just like as like a in an athletic form, like he's improving. Kyle is definitely giving it like a hundred percent. You know, I don't. I feel like he's never done anything sort of like this physically demanding. I think I'm kind of Team Kyle now. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because he's my son. I'm thinking he is actually learning it the right way where Jay was just going for it. Just punching the bag. After the first month, my confidence was going up. Uh, especially once, uh, once uh, we started getting into the ring and it was no longer like, okay, throw combos. It's more of like, okay, throw whatever you want. Then you start to really see yourself like improve. So what do you think about the whole fight? <laughs> um, I think, honestly, you're gonna get destroyed. I still think he's got a lot of weight on you, so because of that, I think he'll probably kick your ass. Tell Coach to punch you harder. I think you're gonna die. <laughs> oh my God. It's all about small actions over time, compounding. He has 10 years of hitting the bag, cardio. So that's why I'm saying don't underestimate him, but I'm impressed with your six weeks of training. <laughs> Your dad is definitely a little bigger than you. 
For sure. And has thrown punches before and everything. And if he connects one, there might be some damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I don't think you should fight me with one arm. And my coach agrees that if you try to fight with one arm, that it's gonna be a very, very quick fight. And you will lose within like a round or two. Yeah. You want me to show you some, some footage? You have some footage? I have some footage that I can show you. Hey, you go, come on. Push, push. <laughs> I think that's cute. That's nice. Did you show me that? <laughs> Did I scare me? Yeah, you thought, think that's gonna scare me, right? Well, I thought, I mean... I think it's great. You got some great bar, you learned how to box. It's awesome. You think about it like this, right? When you're holding one hand up, you're trying to, trying to hit. Boom. 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 Like, I'm pretty fast with it. Now we have to you once. See, that's where I think you're wrong. Are you scared? Not really. I you scared. Is that for real? Are we really doing that? <laughs> right there. Uh, no, let it out, let it out. No, I mean for a home. Look at that physique. <laughs> My money's on you, dude. Just cause like, nobody knows. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. I think you know, everyone's gonna be like, holy shit, what just happened? Yeah. That's what I predict. So, probably about eight weeks in, my coach goes, Hey, next week, I'm going to find someone to spar for you. I'm like, oh shit, okay, that's kind of cool. But then my mind's going, okay, well, who is he? Who, who am I going to fight? Who's going to kick my ass? When I saw Alex, I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting and fun to watch. This guy, Alex, he's bigger than me. <laughs> he's got more ex boxing experience than me. He's quicker than me. Like, he's better than me in, in all types of ways. Like, better looking than me. <laughs> I bet Kyle was fucking scared shitless, bro. So when we started the spar, it was like, Everything I learned in the past eight weeks or so, completely out the window. It's like, <laughs> it's a complete like fight or flight reflex. How are you feeling? <laughs> feeling good. Good. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Give me your punches. Oh, there it is. Move the line. Gotta move the head. Remember. One minute. One minute. One minute. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't look away. Don't look away. Get it? Get it? Oh, yeah, it's up the left. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
I've never been hit the way that Alex hit me before. <laughs> but you just kind of get used to it after a while. Like, like after a few hits, like you're just like, all right, let's just keep going. Yeah, it's like, it's like, cause there's that, that quote where it's like, everyone has a plan until they get hit in the face. Yeah, you get hit in the face and that, that shocks you. But then in, after a few more hits in the face, you're, you're kind of over the shock, and so you're just you're just kind of taking them at that point. <laughs> Time, got a bleeder. Time. Good. 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 Apparently, my nose was bleeding during during the this bar match. Coach cleans me up and goes, "All right, you still owe me 30 seconds to get back in there." <laughs> Give me 30 seconds. Come on, let's go. Oh, right, when you're done, let's go. Come on, it's only a little bit of blood. Peggy, where you been at? Getting all this promo. When it comes to money, bet these niggas is a no show. I've been out in bed, stop chilling with my feet up. Laughing at these sand cloud niggas try be us. When I say us, bet, I don't mean no fucking crew. Peggy been a solo access, Looney Tunes and Goofy Truth. Honestly, I didn't expect Kyle to quit whatsoever. He wanted to keep going, and he wants this match for sure. Brownsville, with a Kimba, all you yuppie purses get swiped like Tinder. Now I'm at the White House, looking for your president. Hop up to Van Point and guns at your residence. Oh, I'm up in Queens now, showing y'all a body. For his first bar, I feel like he didn't do that bad. You can't expect to go or to remember all the training you went through. Obviously, you're gonna have some slip ups in there, and those were showing. I gotta be a lot more mobile and a lot more like, you gotta move a little bit more. Get better at slipping some uh, some punches and stuff like that. It's easy to, to slip a jab when you know it's coming, but when you don't know it's coming, you gotta react a bit quicker. That, that's probably like the biggest takeaway, aside from you know what it actually feels like to get hit in the face. Go. 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 Two, three. Two, three. Go. For some improvements, I would say just just remember your training and don't slip up, man. <laughs> don't fucking slip up. <laughs> did you do any sparring outside of the gym? I did do some uh, some sparring outside of the gym. Bodies. 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 Oh my God. Bodies. He's here. Oh, he's in his corner. Kyle. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It was crazy to see Kyle like actually like in a fighting mode because he was quick, like way quicker than I expected. His one two is like fast. Whoa, you got the power! Give him hell stuff, huh? <laughs> Root was uh, fun to spark because it was finally like, someone like my size, you know? So it was like it was like a the Goldilocks <laughs> opponent, you know. <laughs> I could say with confidence that he could probably beat up everyone in this household, maybe except for Colin, just because that motherfucker's too damn long. When he was boxing Root and Gerardo's, like, I think he's definitely gonna beat his dad. Like, I could tell he's been grinding, you know. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Get in there, Jero, get in there! Yeah. Keep going! We can call space, bro! Yeah! Hey, damn! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, uh, just so he can uh, learn the basics a little bit. It's gonna be the first time my dad's actually seen me like, like fight. So it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how he reacts. But uh, I mean, even if he gets a little scared or nervous, it's not like he can train any harder to try to beat me because uh, you know the fight's two weeks away. So it's already too late. That's how I'm feeling. Can you? Oh, this place is. Um... Can you quit complaining and just get in? <laughs> this is worse than your apartment. What do you need a wrench for? You, you don't even know how to do a wrench. wrench. You, you don't know how a hammer works. What are you going to do with a wrench? In case. You can tell by the expression of my face how excited I am. I think you'll have fun. I think you'll have fun. I don't think you're ready for how exhausting boxing actually is. I'm going to have to make sure this thing ends in round two or three because <laughs> otherwise I won't make it. Yeah. How did you feel about seeing Jason box for the first time? Uh, yeah. Jay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when, my, when my dad was learning how to throw, it was uh, very obvious that he's, uh... He was a bit in over his head when he said that he would be able to do this without training. I've never seen somebody, feel, like, have so much twitchiness in their body before. Like, just, just sporadic, like just all over the place. I, I was scared being the cameraman. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, you're a <laughs> Shit. Whoa. I got a little too excited. Whoa. Even after he learned how to throw a left and right hook, he was still throwing it wrong when Danny told him to throw the left and right hook. I still don't even think he knows how to throw a left or a right hook. One, two, two, three, four, 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 one minute. One minute? One minute around, okay? If it wasn't for his condition that he's trying to land, he'd be doing two minutes around yeah. because he's so fucking old. Hey, stop laughing over here. Shadow box. Three, two, last one more. I was excited for my dad to see me box for the first time. Bro, I felt like a kid on Christmas Day. When I first saw Kyle, at least I haven't seen Kyle since that, like, what, first or second time we filmed. Um, that was pretty eye-opening. No, I, I did not think Kyle did this seriously. Therefore, I also didn't think it had to train very hard. <laughs> Oops. You should teach him how to go under. We are. He's we are. We are. We're gonna. <laughs> He's gotta be a pill I can take or something. Has to, right? You can stop doing shots at this point. Too late. Are you sure you want some of this? Whoa, you turn it up, Kyle. <laughs> Watching him hit those like combos kind of threw me off. I, I, I definitely had a change of heart from just Jay's gonna absolutely destroy Kyle to, you know what? Kyle actually might have a really good shot at beating his dad at boxing. Hey. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new strategy. Yes, you do. Four. Five. Eight. I was really impressed that Kyle dedicated the time to learn how to do this. And I was excited because 
I've never seen him take a sport seriously in 21 years. All the things he's tried and not tried very hard at, he picks this thing to try hard at. Yeah. All sports, half ass. Every and this is one. the and this is the one he decides to do. Exactly. Exactly. Can't trust that kid. So, uh, get a phone call right after he's done. Gets in the car and calls me and goes, "Yeah." I should have taken this more seriously than I did. And I just laughed, like, I told you. I told you Kyle's taking this seriously. I told you to take it. To yeah. Yeah, he's um, a lot better than I thought he was. He, he's walked up a little bit. I was like, yeah, I know. You can tell Jay's a little scared uh, and a little bit nervous of like, what's going to happen. He's just not going to voice it. I'm a little less confident in my ability to win this fight after watching Kyle train. But since I'm generally a confident person, I'm sure I will overcome that little issue. How you feeling? <laughs> like I'm probably in trouble. <laughs> it was so exciting to show him what I got, you know, because he's been so cocky this entire time. You're a little better than I thought you were going to be. <laughs> it's like you were taking a little more seriously than I was. I got it. Like he seemed like genuinely like in over his head. So that felt really good. I honestly thought I'd be able to box you with one hand and be nothing. What the fuck do you think I've been doing the past two and a half months? <laughs> I'm feeling really good about the fight. I'm feeling, I think I'm feeling more confident than I thought I would be feeling after all the training. There's no doubt that Kyle can learn how to dance and learning a few boxing moves is kind of like learning how to dance. As long as you can move your arms in the right direction at the right time, it's a nice little ballet. But a real fight is nothing like a ballet. I think Kyle is probably stupid cocky right now and thinks he's going to kick my dad's ass. I think Kyle's going to end up with a broken nose. And he's going to get a nose drop before I do. Honestly, pretty inspiring to see Kyle grinding. We went on a swim together the other day and pushed me to do a few extra laps. You know, I might have tapped at three, but I did five because Kyle was there. You know what I mean? From day one to now, the improvement is tremendous. I don't think Kyle's, anyone's giving Kyle enough credit. I really want to say that I have a newfound respect for Kyle at this point. The hard part is, is when you have technique compared to somebody who doesn't have technique, but might have a little bit more strength, it almost feels like that person with strength might have a little bit more of an advantage just because the fact they had that strength. It really plays a huge part. You know, mentally, this is probably one of the toughest things I've ever done. <laughs> I am a little bit worried that he's gonna just hit me as hard as he can. He's got nothing else going for him, so he's got to hit me hard. It's tough, it's tough. It, I mean, dude, we're thinking strength versus talent. If you're gonna say that you can beat me up with one hand tied behind your back, I'm gonna make sure you can't beat me up with using two hands. No matter what I do tomorrow, it won't be because of my back. Unless I win. If I win, I win, it'll be because of my back. I think Kyle's gonna put up a better fight than my dad anticipated. I think my, I still think my dad's gonna win. I think it's just gonna be a lot closer of a fight than anyone anticipated. With everything Kyle has done to train and prepare, I think Kyle is still gonna be beaten to death. So who do you think is gonna win on Saturday? Easiest question of my life, Kyle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Reed, but you all have a chance, I don't say, unless you get one good hit in to knock this man out. I really think Kyle's got him. I think Kyle's gonna win. I think Kyle's gonna win, yeah. I definitely think I'm gonna win. I think there's no doubt about it. Do I anticipate winning tomorrow? Well, I wake up every day anticipating to win. Why would tomorrow be any different? It's fight day, baby! It's fight day! There. Yeah, unless you get lost. I'm following you though. That's so sweet. Yeah, unless you get lost. <laughs> so like a chicken out. Don't crash. This is important to me, so drive safe. <laughs> you really want to kick your ass. Okay. I'm looking forward to you kicking my ass. Dude. It's gonna go so badly. <laughs> I'm doing this for all you skinny kids out there. That have been called weak for an entire life. This is for you guys. What you're basically saying is that you never hit Kyle. You're way too tough for Kyle. Way too tough for Kyle. Yeah, in that fight, you said you can't.
So this is my opportunity to knock you off the cow so he can go get a good job. You might some, you might knock some fence in. He's gonna watch this footage back and be like, this guy's are assholes. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> The day of the fight came and I was like, I was very excited, but then I was, it was very quickly, it was like this moment of like, oh shit, this is actually happening. I wasn't nervous about anything. I was not nervous about a damn thing. In fact, I wasn't just joking around and having fun and uh, did not take it seriously at all. It kind of felt like that, like the first day of training, where it's like just a lot of these like unknown feelings of just like what's gonna happen, you know? Going back to Tangier with some guns and a spear. Post Christy shit, post chicken and the egg addiction shit. Past the sharp stick, be a reality. To me, when I saw him get to the gym, it was absolutely night and day, just like the focus was in, I the tiger, just we're here to fight. Going into the fight, I just had no expectations except for the fact that like, I was there to shock people, you know? I was there to like, make people go, oh shit, this guy, this guy can fight, you know? Headed for the Sammy Davis way. Grew up with black, all the dangers of linens and things on the way. Never call it a day. Is it Tesla's right for the night time today? Still on the way. Bigger way. That was solid. You got some fucking connects on him. So I didn't swing that? No, you didn't swing that. I'm off in fish. <laughs> I didn't swing that. No, you didn't swing it at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're you afraid to hit him? <laughs> He's not afraid to hit you. He's not afraid to hit me, is he? Hey, he yeah. stunned you. He stunned you for a second. Look at him. Go! Don't look, don't look at you. Yeah. One more. Okay, you last one. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Keep it up. Hey, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it this round. Like, right? oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here thinking about a little song I'd sing for you. Oh, Kyle, kick my ass. Oh, Kyle, you kick my ass. Was the first time, knowing the only time. But, Kyle, you kick my ass. Hey, am I going to lie? That was. Fucking money. That was good, so eh? Sick. That was good. That was so good. <laughs> You're not tired? A little bit. <laughs> I could go a couple more rounds. <laughs> I went with these guys took the ring, so I can't really do that. Oh, yeah, now. sure, sure. <laughs> what do you think? That was good, buddy. No? Disappointed in the past. I know, me too, dude. Losing is interesting. If you lose, if you don't lose at things, you don't become stronger. I think this goes in with the rest of my athletic endeavors of being lost in every Ironman race I've ever done. Now losing to my 21 year old kid in the boxing match. I'm gonna go back to playing guitar and maybe I should start drinking again. Because I might have thought better if I actually drank. What's next for your boxing career? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep boxing. If anyone out there wants to challenge me, I'm 115 pounds and I'm 5'5", five five, so if you're around that weight and size, <laughs> I mean, who knows? Creator Clash? Creator Clash 3? 